a dynamic microphone like the Shure SM7B, you can think of it as being self-powered. It's actually really cool how it works. There's a diaphragm that catches sound waves moving through the air, and that pushes a spring around a magnet to generate electrical current, and that's how you get your signal to your audio mixer. Now, this is a really mechanical process. You're literally pushing a spring around a magnet to generate current. Next, we have condenser microphones, like the Rode NT1. There's a completely different technology inside these condenser microphones. There's basically a diaphragm and then two charged plates. Those plates need to be charged by an external power source of 48 volts of phantom power. And basically, as that diaphragm moves, it makes the two plates interact, and the movement or the distance between that gap generates an electrical current, and that's how you get your audio signal into your audio mixer.